hello everybody welcome to my channel my name is miranda and as you guys could tell i have a luxury high-end mystery box for you guys that have golf of poshmark here is the box it wasn't a ups box but i wanted to see what it looked like so before we get into the video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell so you guys get notification every time i upload a video and let's just get on with the box <laughs> this is what the box looked looks like um all the products are inside this was a 249 dollar mystery box it's high end so it's like you're gonna get really good products or really good brands and so let me tell you uh, i actually found this box off of abby if you don't know who abby is i'll have her channel link down below and i'll have her recent video of where she unboxed this video because she did just post one I think yesterday or maybe the day before or whenever this my video pops up I'll just have that video linked down below and she got I believe like a $59 minus $249 so yeah but anyways um this was this is the box with all the products came in and everything was individually wrapped like everything was so neatly everything was like beautiful but <laughs> myself um wanted to just take everything apart so i did um i unwrapped everything of the bubble wrap and everything like that but um and i know what's in here but you guys don't so we're just gonna be going through everything and letting you guys know what i got so there is that this is just the lid of it um she did put a card in um as my thing was butterflies um so cute it's a little butterfly and let's see this is the card that it's like really blue i love these colors this says thank you so very much for your purchase miranda your 249 dollars mystery box is valued over 550 you guys the my cella i'm not sure how to say that items are free gifts and were not included in the calculations cheers so this is her name down here i'll have it also linked down below but that here's her name on poshmark and she is i love her listings um i always wanted to purchase from her and now i have um there is this little note also that says, thank you for shopping my Poshmark closet. Then it says, dream open here. And this says, give your dreams all you got and you'll be amazed at the energy that comes out of you. William James. This is thoughtfuls. This is so cute. I'm going to keep this in the note forever. But just to give you guys a little peek. There it is. <laughs> so the, the items that she was saying that were free were these two. And sorry if my, my camera is going to be a little shaky. The ring stand that I got is not very sturdy. So, But these are the two items that she said were free and that were not included in the, in the calculations. So the first one we have here is a Perfect C Pro Serum, Brighten and Renew, 25% L-Ascorbic Acid Vitamin C. This is a serum and oils. So there's the packaging. And let's open it. Let's open her up. This is vegan, cruelty-free, and recyclable. And here it is. so cute it's so small and i love that it's a pump so that way you can just pump it on your hands and rub it in and rub it on so that's really cute so she said this one and the next one will not be in the calculations this one is vegetarian cruelty free and recyclable and this is a serum and oil it's a clear skin pore refiner Ooh. And it's the same thing. It's a it's a pump, 
this is a little bigger but this is so cute i really like them and i cannot wait to use them because i have been wanting something to help with my with my skin and all that oiliness and, and the pores and oh, i hate my skin so anyways the next thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go through like the little things first. Like she even included tally ties, the strong grip, no grip hair ties that gives back hip happy hair. And they're, these are neon green. And here is that if my camera focus is good, if not, then I'm sorry. But there is that. And these are like neon green, which I really, really love. I really like neon. I really like bright colors. Now, let me just grab this. Now, I'm not really the type of girl that would wear this, but this is Huda Beauty Classic Eyelashes, Samantha number seven. And here they are. And these are Huda Beauty. And they look really pretty. However, I'm not the type of girl that would wear eyelashes, but I am definitely gonna keep them just because they came in this in this mystery box. You know, I I'm not gonna get rid of them. Okay, next up we have is the Smashbox Photo Finish Protect Broad Serum SPF 20 Primer. This is pretty cool. Don't burn out. Want to prep your skin for makeup and shield it from the sun. We created this primer to guard against harmful UVA, UVB rays and set the scene for flawless makeup application. And here is the project itself. If you have used this, let me know if you like it. Oh, it's a twisty. I thought it was a pull off. And... It has a seal, which I really love, because you never know. I know she she's not like this, but you never know on other things or on other products that you might get. I'll make sure it always has a seal like that, so that way you know like nothing's in there. Next up, we have Tote. Um, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this, but here is the packaging. I'm not sure how to say it or anything like that, so I'm not even gonna try, but it is a matte stain. And it is rose something. Rose something is the color of it. Let's open it and see. Oh my gosh. Now, I'm, I'm telling you guys, like, I don't know what's inside the actual box. I just know what I got. And this is actually a very, very pretty. Look at the packaging. Like, the gold. And, yeah. I am definitely going to like this color. Oh, look at that. You guys see the, the applicator? It is, like, wow. It's so weird. Okay, let's try it. That is actually a really pretty color. There it is. Um, I actually love this. If you guys could see it. But that is actually a really pretty color. And I'm going to like this. I, it doesn't look like it's a matte liquid lipstick. It looks, um, look like a matte satin. But I, or if that's what it is, then okay. So next thing is this. Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Ooh, Fenty Beauty it is a portable touch-up brush. It is 130 portable touch-up brush. Here is the packaging of this one real quick. And this is what it's supposed to look like. Oh, wow. This is really, really cute. Kind of looks like a lipstick <laughs> tube, but I know it's not. Oh, is that oh Ooh, look at that that's very it's a little small 
but it's a it's a portable one so it's not going to be that big so that way you can actually take it with you so that's pretty soft now i don't want to ruin it so i'm going to put it back in this packaging because this is fenty beauty like fenty beauty is expensive but yeah next we have a pop socket and it is a, it's a flora one and it's very very beautiful i actually used to have a couple of these but Wait, it has a mirror oh i think it does mirror compact foam grip and stand oh i just found out it says mirror mirror on your phone so i just figured out that it has a mirror compact so you just like open it up like a blush compact you know like you open it up and it's a mirror this is actually very cute i just usually got the regular one at like walmart or something next we have a urban decay eyeshadow eyeshadow single eyeshadow it's in ydk here is the packaging of this one and it is still sealed you guys i didn't open anything I just wanted to see what I got. Uh, let me go get a knife real quick, or I could do it with my fingers. Knife will be better. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got a knife. No, I'm not gonna marine anybody. Okay. Let's open her up and see what she looks like. If I could open her up. There we go. Urban Decay YDK eyeshadow. Ooh, the packaging is very, very pretty, guys. Look at that, and then look at the back. Like, ooh, that's a really pretty shade. Let's swatch it real quick. Ooh, a little fallout. But look at that. Look how pretty, look how pretty that looks. Now, ooh, that's like very, very pretty. I am gonna be loving this shade. It's right here. So yeah, I'm gonna be loving this shade. If you have like Urban Decay palettes, let me know how they are because I've been wanting to actually purchased a big palette like that so let me know next up we have what's this oh makeup geek brown purple eyeliner duo so it is from makeup geek and i just recently saw people post that this company i think it's a lady uh makeup geek actually came out with um what is it two eyeshadow palettes with like very very pretty colors i seen shay do um swatches how she does her single swatches on the eyes and they looked all beautiful so this one is purple eyeliner and i'm just gonna be doing it right here oh wow that is a very beautiful purple now let's do the brown real quick and I'll show you guys. It kind of looks like a black. So there's the purple and then there's the brown. To me, in person, it kind of looks black brown. But it's up to you guys. I don't know how you guys see it. So comment down below. But those are beautiful. Now I have a purple eyeliner to go with my purple looks. Let me put these back and move on to another one. Mm, okay, this is um, Tarte. It is Rainforest of the Sea H2O Gloss in Villa. Now I have a Rainforest of the Sea, I think the Sea li a Lipstick. But I never really like glosses. I don't, I'm not sure why. So I don't know if I'm going to swatch this. But I mean, I'm going to open it and I'll show you guys. This. This is very pretty. The shade looks gorgeous. 
However, I'm not very a gloss girl, so I might give it to a family member. I might put it on Poshmark or I might put it on Mercari. Mercari? I'm not sure how to say it, but I'm selling them both. I'll have both of mine closets or whatever down below. If you guys want to purchase anything like from this box that I say I'm going to post, but it's okay. Next we have... Anastasia's Beverly Hairs Precision Tweezers. Ooh, now I could do my eyebrows. <laughs> so there's that. And this is what they're gonna look like. So let's open them up. Oh, it has a little protector on it. So that is really cute. There is the name and it has the logo on this side. And pluck your guys' eyebrows. I'm actually going to put it back on. <laughs> I don't want to hurt myself throughout this whole video <laughs> or the rest of this video. Next we have is Tarte C Surfer Curl Volumizing Mascara. Ooh, there's the packaging in black. Now that is very cute. The packaging is very cute. Oh, the tube is even cuter. <laughs> there it is. Let's open her up. And it's just a regular applicator. So nothing special. But I'm really excited to see how this works. This is the Hourglass Strobe Lighting Powder. It's this one right here. And here's the name of it, I'm guessing. And let's open her up. Ooh, see that? It's really pretty. Oh, wow has a mirror let me see how i look guys i look horrible sorry about that i barely noticed so there is the color it is very very pretty now let's swatch just get all of it there it is it's supposed to be a powder but it looks kind of like a highlight but you never know Probably could use it both ways. So there is that. Only a couple more and then I'm done. Next we have Tom Ford, you guys. Tom Ford, it is a Gloss Luxe. And this is 10 Love Lust. So here is the packaging of Tom Ford. Let's open her up. Oh my gosh. Look at this packaging, you guys. Oh my gosh, the shade. Ooh, I know I'm not a gloss girl, but I don't want to like ruin it, but look at that. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Let me swatch it. It's a gloss, so it's not really gonna show up but it's right here. I might actually use this on top of a lipstick maybe, but guys, that packaging, wow. I really love it. Next we have is a Dior Addict Lip Maximizer Backstage Pros High Hyaluronic Lip Plumper. Here is this packaging. It is pink. It has a paper, I guess, on how to do it. This packaging is actually really cute. Here is the packaging for this one. It is a lip maximizer. Yeah, lip maximizer hydraulic lip plumper. I have never tried lip plumpers or anything like that, so... Really excited to see what it is.
Next up, we have my NARS blush, which I have never tried any NARS products before. So I was really excited to get this. It's in shade Behave 4081. Also, I'm very sorry if this is a crappy voiceover. We live with my husband's parents, so um, I'm always worrying about what they think when I do my YouTube videos or record or anything like that. So I'm sorry for this crappy voiceover. So here is the shade, which I think is really nice. I think it will actually go with me. I don't really like bright, bright blushes. And it did come with the protector, as you saw, and I just took it off to swatch it real quick. And as you guys can see, it is a really nice pink color. I really like it, so I think it really is going to complement complement my skin really well. So next up was the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick. The packaging was really cute, really shiny. I really liked it because it was like a pinky brownie nude. And I really like the packaging, so I might just end up keeping it. It is the shade 11NB Natasha. The sticker looked really cute. So I was really excited to see how the shade was. The packaging of the lipstick was really cute. I liked how it was really squared and it took up all the packaging. So. The shade was, is really cute. I really like it. It's a nice nude, so it will complement me and anything that I wear really, really nice. As you can see, I didn't really want to swatch it because, you know, when you get new products, you're like, ooh, I want to try it. But I'm like, no, thank you. So I did not swatch it. Next up, we have the Natasha Denona Mini Glam Palette. And I'm sorry if my camera is, will cut off this one and the next product. But here is the packaging for the mini glam palette, which the shades looked really nice. And here are the shades. They look really, really pretty. I honestly think the silver or I mean the glitter shades will be really, really nice. Next up, we have the Natasha Denona Camel Palette. I believe that's how you say it, but here is the packaging. doesn't really have the pictures of it on in the front or anything like the last one, but I really like the packaging. And here is the palette. I really like the shades because you can make a really nice warm eyeshadow look with these and the glitter looked really really pretty so i think these will be really good on those days where you just want to go kind of natural so i really like this palette here is the back where it shows you the shade names and everything so i think i'm gonna really like this palette so i'm not gonna be able uh, so i'm not gonna get rid of this anytime at all lastly the brand that we have is huda beauty like the rest of the products in here are, are Huda Beauty so let's just get into it so this one we have the nude medium eyeshadow palette it is nude medium obsessions from the nude obsessions I think um medium nude obsession palette it's from that collection there you go that is the word I was looking for and this is like really really cute 
Let's look at the shades. Oh my gosh. Ooh, the shades are beautiful, guys. So here is the palette. Next, we have Light Nude from the same collection. Let's open her up real quick and then it's lunchtime, guys. So here is the palette looks like on the outside. And like I said, it's very beautiful. Let's look at the shades. Oh my gosh, I think this is my favorite palette that I have so far. Cause look at the shades, like, oh my gosh. The middle one and this pink one, like my favorite now. And I cannot wait to use them in a look. Next up, we have this Huda Beauty Life Liner Duo Eyeliner Pencil and Liquid. And for some reason, this packaging or the product inside is like all upside down. Not sure why, uh, but there it is. Let's take it out. It is in very Vanta Extreme Black. Let's look at her. Ooh, the packaging, like, you guys. Look at that. Okay, this is the pencil liner. You pull, and there is a the pencil liner. Wrong way. Why do I don't want to mess it up? Ooh. Next is the liquid liner and this is twist oh wow look at that very cute i really like how this packaging is on the on the eyeliner because like really look at that i love this packaging let me put it right this time there we go <laughs> okay just three more from huda oh i missed something this is from mag it's an eyeshadow not sure which one. And it has a tag on it. Burn Satin. Here is the packaging for this one. I guess it's been hiding in there. And then let's open her up. Just like a little brownish color. It is Burn Satin Eyeshadow. Yeah. Let's swatch her. It's like a burnt purple. But it doesn't look purple. But there it is. It's actually a really pretty color. So next we have is Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipstick in Girls Trip. Ooh, I always wanted to try the bullet lipsticks and now i can because they're mine now all right here's the packaging real quick and there's the shade like so beautiful I have another bullet lipstick in shade Kiss Forever. First Kiss. Let's open her up and see what she looks like. Here is the packaging for this one. Let's open her up. Oh, I'm going to love this one. Look at that. It's so beautiful, like a dark nude. Yeah, the other one's more like a nude. This one's like a dark nude, which I'm going to love. Lastly, we have this. And I haven't opened this one because it's still on there. So let's break it. Oh, 
wow. Huda Beauty Liquid Matte. I think that's a lip pencil and a lip, lip strobe. Set a pencil, a lip pencil, mini liquid lipstick, mini lip gloss. Where can you find the shade that? Mm. Did it say on there? Okay, yeah, right here. Contour and Strobe Lip Set, Muse and Angelic. And those are it. Okay, you guys, that is it. Thank you for watching my video. And if you liked any of these products, I mean, go get it yourself or you could try to get it from her. I'll have her Poshmark closet link down below. Um, no, I don't get a commission. I don't get anything like she sends me free stuff so I could review it. No, she does not. Um, she's just a posher trying to make money. So I'll have her link down below. So please don't forget to, before you leave, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell. So you guys can get notification every time I upload a video because this year is going to be really good for me. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.